بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل کیلکولس اینڈ میتھمیٹکس لرننگ ان ٹوڈے ویڈیو آئی سالو کوسچن نمبر 4 ریلیٹڈ وتھ ایکسرسائز نمبر 4.1 ریلیٹڈ وتھ چیپٹر نمبر 4 ڈیفرنشیشن اف ا ویکٹر فنکشن ریلیونٹ وتھ دی ٹاپک لمٹس اف ویکٹر فنکشن دیٹ کوسچن واز ویری امپورٹنٹ ان ایکسرسائز نمبر 4.1 اینڈ چیپٹر نمبر 4 ڈیفرنشیشن اف ا ویکٹر فنکشن ان ٹوڈے ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو سالو دی لاسٹ کوسچن ریلیٹڈ وتھ دی سیم ایکسرسائز نمبر 4.1 related with the continuity and discontinuity of a vector function. So the function will be continuous uh, for which we will going to find the domain of the vector function and then after we will prove the right hand limit and left hand limit will be the same of the vector function for the function to be continuous. So let's move toward the question number 5. Test the continuity for the following expressions for all values of t. So there are total 6 part. Part number A is f of t is equal to ti plus 3j minus into 1 minus tk. Over here we have ti. So ti is defined for each and every positive real number. Hence the domain of this function is real. The function is continuous over here. And over here 3 is also a constant. This domain is also a positive or negative real number. We can take any value from negative infinity to positive infinity. Hence, the, this function is also continuous. And if we look at this function, this function is also continuous. If we put uh, each and every value, are uh, given each and every positive or negative this, to this independent variable t, it will give the output positive or negative. It means the domain of this function is all, also real. So it means the whole function is continuous. The whole function is continuous for all values of x. For t, where here the independent variable is t, so it is continuous for all real values, for all positive or negative values of t. Move to the first number b, g of t is equal to t i minus t raised to power minus 1 k. Now look at the t i, so over here we have t, so this is defined for each and every positive real, so the domain is real. And if we look over here t raised to the power negative 1, so t raised to the power negative 1 can be written as 1 over t. Now over here the, fu the function is in pressure form, so you know that when the function is, the, is in the pressure form, so the denominator should not be equal to 0. Over here in denominator we have t, so it should not be equal to 0. If we put t 0, it gives us 1 divided by 0, which will give us infinity and infinity is not the real. In the domain we are dealing with the real, that's why this is uh, the function will discontinuous at the value of t is equal to 0. The function will dis continuous at t is equal to 0. So it means that uh, this function is defined uh, f, of, f of t is defined for all values of t except uh, t is equal to 0. This will be the required and desired answer. Now move towards the part number C related with the same question, question number 5. If we look over here, the function is given g of t is equal to i plus 2j over t square plus t. Now again, this function is given in the fraction form. So for the fraction form, denominator should not be equal to 0 for the function to be continuous. Over here in denominator, we have t square plus t. So it should not be equal to 0. Now factorize t square plus t. This is the quadratic equation our quadratic expression, so take out t common, so inside we are left with over here t and inside if we took, take out t common inside we are left with just 1, should not be equal to 0. Now according to 0 factor property, t should not be equal to 0 or either t plus 1 should not be equal to 0. Now from over here shift 1 to the right hand side, it becomes that t should not be equal to negative 1. So it means that uh, this function is defined for all positive or, re or negative real values except t is, equal t is equal to 0 and except t is equal to negative 1. If we put t 0, 1 it gives us 0, 0. So something over 0 gives us infinity. And if we put minus 1, so it gives us 1. And over if we put minus 1, it gives us again 0 in the denominator. So something over 0 again gives us infinity, which is not defined for the domain. That's why this function is continuous for all value of t except t is equal to 0 and except t is equal to negative 1. Move toward part number d over here we are given with uh, f of t is equal to e power t into sin ti plus e raised to power t into cos of tk. Now you know that sin is our trigonometric function whose domain is a, a real values. Whose domain is all real values, positive or negative. It means the domain is from minus infinity to uh, positive infinity. And exponential function is also, uh, uh, the domain of this function is also real. 
If we put each and every positive or negative real, it will give us a specific output of the positive or real values. It means the range of. So the domain of this function is also real and this function is also real. Now look at this function because domain is also real and exponential is also real. It means that the whole function is defined. It is continuous. The function is continuous for all positive and negative real values of t. Now move towards the part number e. If of t is equal to e power t into t i plus t raised to power minus 1 j plus 3 k. First we will multiply e power t with each and every term inside the bracket. So it becomes e power t into t i plus e raised to power t into t raised to power minus 1 j and plus 3 e raised to the power t k. Now again by further simplification it becomes e raised to the power t into t i plus e raised to power t, t raised to power minus 1 can be written as 1 over t j plus 3 e raised to power t k. Now this function is discontinuous for e, t, e power t into t because this is not integration form if we put each and every positive negative real it will give us the output of positive or negative real. It means this function is continuous, the domain of this function is also real so this is also continuous. Now look at this function. This is again given in the fraction form. So in denominator we have t. So denominator t should not be equal to 0. It means this function is defined for all real values except t not equal to 0. So the, this is actually the required and desired answer. Move to the last part of question number 5 in today's lecture. Function is given g of t is equal to t i plus under root of t j divided by under root of t square plus t. Again we have in fraction form the function is given. So in the denominator we have under root of t square plus t. So it should not be equal to 0. Taking square on the both sides. So it becomes a t square plus a t whole square should not be equal to 0 whole square. Square cancel out with square we are left with t square plus t should not be equal to 0. Take out t common inside we are left with t plus 1 should not be equal to 0. Again by 0 factor property t should not be equal to 0 or either t plus 1 should not be equal to 0. Shift 1 on the right hand side it becomes t should not be equal to negative 1. It means that this function is defined and uh, for each and every positive real value except t not equal to 0 and except t not equal to negative 1. At these two values the function will discontinuous. So this function is continuous f of t g of t is continuous for all positive and negative real values except t is equal to 0 and t is equal to negative 1. So with this question I finish my lecture. Thank you for watching. Subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon to receive the upcoming notification about FSC part 2 mathematics. Thank you.